Hi, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to 300 Second Crap, the show where I watch awful life hacks and then just kind of don't let you see them. I see them. I bear this cross. It's heavy with mercy. Um, This episode's called 500 Hilarious Pranks You Can Do Right Now. Uh, I'm sure they will be. There's the intro. All right. They've very obviously hot glued a whole bunch of nails to their hand. Yeah, there you go. They uh, hot glued a bunch of pins to their finger. They have hot glued pin to their finger. And then they put, what is that, fake blood? Red food coloring, maybe? Yeah, like, it went through the nail. That should be impossible, right? How would you get, like, four of them through there? How could you get so many pins through one? Ooh, this girl is... <laughs> this girl's getting texts from my Robert Z, who is probably a pedophile. He says, send me your pic, question mark. And she holds up a mirror to her face and takes a weird picture of her looking away. And then he gets so scared he has to throw his phone away and pants for a second. All right, sure. Um, someone's mixing milk, cocoa powder, and gelatin. And they've got some straws. Okay. And then pour it into the straws. That's not going to go in there, dude. All right, next, get a chocolate muffin. Grind it up. Grind up a bunch of chocolate muffins. And then just blow your weird gelatin straw into the thing. And it looks like worms and dirt, I suppose. And then they uh, show a woman gardening, and then a girl sh walks up with the... Uh, Oh my god, this one's going to be dumb. Uh, they show a woman gardening and then someone walks up with a spoon with a shovel full of the fake dirt and fake worm and then they eat it. And the woman is so uh, visibly disgusted that she has to turn away in fake vomiting. Um, Whatever. All right. Some guy is working and then someone just steals his phone and then they cut a screw in half. And they shatter a plastic thing. And then they glue half the screw to the phone. That's not going to come off. And then some plastic chunks around it. And he's just looking at it like he's confused, like, what happened? Bro, I think it's very obvious. All right. Someone's threaded a string and a needle through a Mentos. And they have a Pepsi brand Pepsi. And they have put the Mentos in there using dental floss. Here you go, she says. And then it dumps Pepsi all over her. And she shrugs like, oh, I don't know what happened. You gave it to her. This is so transparent. You just got Pepsi all over her for no reason. Anyway, get a whole bunch of white chocolate. Just a shitload of it. And dump it into a... Nivea brand nail lip thing? Yeah. And then just go to the bathroom and take bites out of it while people watch you. Good prank, I guess. Uh, why does everyone, whenever they have to see, whenever they have to be pleasured in this video, they close their eyes. They have one minute to get a nut. All right, there's four people. They all have one minute to get a nut. There's a nut in a tube. I guess they can't pick it up. They have a bunch of miscellaneous tools and a bottle of water. Couldn't they just pour water in there? Yeah, this guy's trying to blow it out with a straw. This guy's trying to chopstick it out. None of the tools are long enough. You could just pour water in there. So... One of my favorite things when talking about animal sapiens is the example of crows and other corvids like magpies. They're able to use tools to get food that they can't normally reach with their beaks. They're able to use things like sticks or straw or bits of hay or whatever and push things out of the way. Um, 
And here, this idiot has finally dumped the water in and gotten the nut out. Hallelujah. Um, cripes. Anyway, it's good to know that these idiots are not as smart as crows. I feel like if a crow had the dexterous ability to unscrew a, a top from a bottle or the strength to do so, they would have figured it out much sooner. This woman is... Ugh, anyway. I paused it, by the way, if that wasn't clear, because I'm still talking about this. This person has opened a little ring box, and then there's a money inside. How to fold money like a boss. There's only a dollar in there. All right, they folded it. Folded it again. Are they making origami? Why? Oh, and now it looks like you left $4. So instead of just being poor, you're also a dickhead. Why, dude? I'm pausing it. Le just, if you can't tip someone, don't go out to eat. If I saw someone doing that, I would berate them in front of the entire restaurant. And I would say, look at this person who not only knows that they're supposed to tip more and didn't, but they're also trying to hide it by making it look like they tipped more than they did. What a scumbag. What an absolute scumbag. What a horrible person. Anyway. Next. Next hot tip. Next, next life hack. Someone's. She's presented her ugly Sheldon Cooper boyfriend with a box that says. Happy anniversary. And he says, oh, hold on one minute. And then he starts folding some money. He's folding this money. He continues to fold this money. He tucks it in there. And he's made a ring out of money. Only a dollar bill, though. Wow, it's a ring. Worth exactly one dollar possibly less all right someone's got a tubby here no it's an andrew jackson 20 dollars bill which should be worthless just put tubby on there you cowards they're folding it they folded it so you can see the part where it says the united states of america and they put it and a bunch of its friends in there into a mcdonald's fry container and they put some coins, appear to be foreign coins, in one of the little sauce packets that have been cleaned out. They've given a frankly handsome man this fry thing full of, you know, this fry container full of money. And then they gave him a bunch of coins and like, wow, yeah, now you can just snort some blow. They're already rolled up for you. All right. So take the paper towels off a paper towel. And then put a whole bunch of American money in there. And then put it in a jar and fill the jar with rice. And no one will think to look in your rice jar for what appears to be a couple thousand dollars. Dude, just put it in the bank. Just put it in the bank, man. I don't feel like I should have to explain this to you. The life hack is getting a savings account. Your money isn't going to appreciate in the rice. Oh, I'm drifting here. They have a dumb life hack about a uh, drawing, folding a piece of paper like a like a Mad Magazine fold out, and then it you can pull it open and it looks like a mouth because you draw a face on both sides and then it's a big horrible mouth. Here it is. It's a small little lemon girl with limes for years, but she has teeth. Oh no! It's a turkey. And then he has teeth. Birds don't have teeth, jackass. Unless you count the egg tooth, which I don't. It doesn't even qualify as a baby tooth because it doesn't chew. It falls out after they crack out of the egg. Here's a fish with teeth. I guess fish technically have teeth. But she has more of shark teeth, and I wouldn't really consider sharks fish. I know, of course, most people do, but I think sharks are too different from fish. Frankly, I'm getting off on a tangent here. Anyway, they've got a Coke bottle because it's always got to be branded. They're pouring what appears to be chocolate in there. I mean, they didn't say what it was. It could just be human shit for all I know. 
and then they are moving the bottle around. Yep, they're show, they, they're showing every hour of it. Then they're refrigerating for one hour for their five minute craft, and then they're cutting the bottle off of the cola. So now it's just a ugly chocolate bottle. And then you have to painstakingly put a whole bunch of M&Ms in there. And then you put the Coca-Cola thing back on there and put the lid on it, even though it's very obvious that it's not on there. And then give it to someone and then they crack it open and a bunch of M&Ms fall out all over the table because you didn't do this on a plate. You did this on what appears to be just a pallet of wood. Retrieve the dollar bill without touching the bottle. You hit the table. Move the contents of the upper glass to the lower one without touching. You blow on the side with a straw. Who is this hack supposed to help exactly? Is this like, oh man. Pour water into the glass without lifting the bottle. You can just put your mouth on it and blow, right? Yeah, there you go. And they're squirting water out through from their mouth lift the glass using the balloon they put a match into the glass and then they put the balloon on top and using the vacuum it gets sucked in there remove the coin without touching the glass they're just kind of itching the little blanket underneath it you know you could also do it by just throwing the table over that isn't touching the glass Lift the bottle up using a straw. Everyone and their dog knows this one. You put the straw in there. And you use the little the little bent part to lift it. It's easy. What were those life hacks for? All right. Here's an optical illusion. Man, this is this is a very dumb idea for a video series because here's a optical illusion, a purely visual thing, a purely visual stimuli. Yeah, it's one of those little squiggly things. Yeah. Let me explain an optical illusion to you. You know, actually, I could talk about uh, why sharks aren't fish anymore. Fish and other things are, you know, very well known for having bones, calcinous bones, bones made of calcium like us, and um, a very specific form of gills. Sharks don't have those. Sharks have those like swim bladders where they'll die if they stop moving, and they have cartilaginous bones. Um, this is a creepy optical illusion where it looks like the dragons are looking at you. Whatever. Anyway. And I frankly just think that it's a travesty that ichthyologists and other marine biologists have just scraped all the things that they found in the ocean into the category of fish. Like, there's so much that shouldn't just be fish. You know, we should diversify. There should be more, you know, families of life. Sharks shouldn't be fish. I don't think sharks should count as fish. Get the coin without dropping the match. There's a match suspended between two glasses. They've used a lighter to burn the match so it sticks to one of the glasses and then you can safely move the other one. Pull out the bill without dropping the coins. They've done a... They just moved it very quickly. That's the... That's the hack, guys. Get the coin without the match falling. There's a match suspended over a coin by another match. They just burned the two matches together, and then you could safely move the coin. Sharks aren't fish. Catch the bill. Oh, this is that $100 bill drop thing. But it said it said it had a green check mark there as though they had done it, but they hadn't. The bill dropped. Oh, Lord. These are dumb. Who would ever need these? These aren't really pranks, exactly. These are more things that, like, a grandpa would do to infuriate his child. Like, oh, juicy fruit. And then put some poison in there. Oh, Lord, where are they going with this? It appears to be a crayon. It's not Crayola, so hell, hell would I know? I'm an American. I'm stupid. Um, they've just kind of poured, yeah, they melted a crayon and they poured it into a thing of juicy fruit and now it makes a crayon. Oh, I see. They used a crayon to make a crayon. Of course. I'm an idiot. All right. They put a Coca-Cola bottle wrapper on a McDonald's brand 
cup. And now they're painting the top of the cup black with nail polish. Because that's not toxic or anything. Why don't more people drink nail polish? It's probably good for you. And then they're putting little chunks of plastic on it. Um, and then they put a power bank in there. And now you have a power bank in your mug that is not a Coca-Cola mug. Seven lipsticks that you can eat is this next one. Here we go. Cacao butter. Mix it with sugar and then put some Coke in there. And then just put a candle underneath it. Like you're going to do, like you're just going to do some drugs, you know? And then pour it into one of those little lip balm containers. Refrigerate it. Five minutes, right? And they show a bunch of different varieties with different sodas. You have aromatic balms that probably aren't great for you. All right. Put some Kinder chocolate in a double boiler. Mix it up. And then mix in some beeswax and cacao butter. Sure. And then pour it into a lipstick tube. I'm sure you got 50 of those lying around, right? And then you can just put them on your face, I suppose. And you taste like chocolate, I guess? What the hell ever. Okay. Put a lollipop in a <laughs> bag and then just beat it with a hammer and then pour the lollipop dust into a bowl and mix it with Vaseline and microwave it for two minutes and put it into a tube of lipstick. That's funny. Chupa Chups lipstick, it says. What the hell does that mean? Ooh, a Kit Kat. All right. Put it in there. Break it into tiny pieces and mix it with Vaseline. Ooh, yeah. And some coffee grounds. Hell yeah. Double boil that. And then using a popsicle stick, just kind of dump it into one of those little lipstick jars. That's okay. Because with chalk, it's edible scrub, I see. Because with pure chocolate, it's just chocolate. But with that, it has stuff in it. Anyway, they're just squirting a huge tube of Vaseline into a thing with some chiclets and juicy fruit in there. And then they're just microwaving it and mixing it up and adding some food coloring and putting it into one of those little jars again. Refrigerate it. Ooh, Kylie Jenner lip kit. Tastes like poison. Oh, cripes. Here we go with more of these. Connect the matches without touching them. And they're just doing a weird, lame magic trick. This would be a good time to talk about fish some more, I think. See, because mollusks, a lot of people just say they're fish. But they should have their own, like, they should have their own tree, you know? This should be a completely different thing. Like, a lot of people said, like, crustaceans should just be insects, right? No, diversify it. Like, it's not as though everyone needs their own little special place, but, like, if there's a massive, massive group, it should be its own thing. Like, sharks predate fish, everyone. That's what the government isn't telling you. Sharks showed up before fish did. Sharks are prehistoric. Sharks have been around since before like dinosaur times to be a very, you know, blunt term, but like there are like Cretaceous period sharks. There are Mesozoic era sharks. Here's one where it says, take the lid out without touching the bottle. And they put a bottle lid inside. A <laughs> they put a bottle lid inside a bottle and then they just blew it out. You know, that's another thing where you could just kick the whole damn table. Let's check some of these comments. Putting glue on someone's phone will probably not come off. Yeah, right. At 46 seconds, his reaction is so fake, he's literally smiling. Let's take a look at that. Oh, we got an ad for honey. I dislike this. Go to hell, Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's the guy who got that like weird picture, I guess. He's chuckling. Um... Oh, there's a homestuck here. I see you, Kawhi Lucy. Oh, Lloyd from Ninja goes there. <laughs> Is there husbando and they're a homestuck? I found my person here. That first one is so mean and funny, my family would have a heart attack. Is that so? Would they really? Okay.
Yeah, here's someone pointing out that the money is an American. Here's someone pointing out that someone might just want some rice. Just put it in the bill. Just put it in the bank. Why do you have $1,000 in cash? Are you going to go score some Coke? What the hell? Seriously, what? what is this? Yeah, don't hot glue your own fingers. Don't hot glue nails to phones. <sighs> Cripes. This episode sucked. I wish my first episode didn't get corrupted. That was a fun episode. Yeah, I'm still going to be complaining about that next week, too. Mostly because I record these uh, closer together than I upload them. Um... That's 300 second crap, everyone. Sharks are not fish. Don't let the government tell you that sharks are fish. And uh, hey, brush your teeth. That's uh, that's 300 second crap, baby. Have a nice day.